Hey folks, here we are. It's a, uh, less than a week later, and you can see how far fermentation has gone. Um, we are at one point. We're less than oh, 1.010 over here on the hydrometer. So what I'm going to do at this point is take this out, rinse it off. All right, and what I'm going to do is, my hands are clean, I'm going to gently squeeze this great pack. Try to get all of that. All right, and I'm just going to put that back in. I'm going to rinse off my hands. So now, what I'm going to do, I always like to clean off the edge of my pail. Now what I'm going to do, So I'm going to heat up a pot with some water and I'm going to add these bags of dextrose to it. Alright, so I'll be right back with some boiling water and we'll take it from there. Alright folks, if you notice I put my spoon in there, I cleaned and sanitized the spoon. And uh, one of the things I just wanted to bring up <coughs> is one of my viewers was saying, um, his name is Frank, left a comment on the, the other video, the beginning video, and he said, um, you know, if you're putting the oak dust in, what he likes to do is soak the oak dust in water the day before and stir that in. I said, hey, you know what, that is a, a really great idea um, for those of you doing that. You can soak the oak dust in, and this way it mixes in a little bit better. Um, for a guy like me, I hardly know that I'm going to be doing wine tomorrow or the next day. It's kind of like very loose, so it's hard for me to say I'm going to open up something and soak it the day before because I might not get to it for three or four days. So, with that being said, you could do it the way I do it, but you know, if you have time and you are ready to able to plan that you're going to put oak dust in, um, tomorrow you could certainly soak it like Frank does and that's a great idea um, alright so let me turn your attention let me turn your attention over to this here pot that has boiling water in it I also clean and sanitize the pot before putting the water in it alright so I got my bag I'm going to cut the top off the bag and pour it in. So there's two of these bags and I get out for both of them. So why is it we're putting sugar in? What do you guys think? This is going to also turn into alcohol. It's not going to make it a sweet wine per se. So we are adding this sugar, we're making like a syrup out of this, stir that up, we're making a syrup out of this, and we're going to add it. And what's going to happen 
is the yeast is going to eat that up and make it even higher alcohol content. So, why not just put all the sugar in at the beginning? Well, there's mixed schools of thoughts on that. A lot of people like to put all the sugar in at the beginning and other people think that if there's too much sugar in the beginning that the yeast might um, get overwhelmed by it and you have a stuck fermentation if there's too much sugar in the beginning. So basically what I've done is I've mixed that up. Going back here. And I'm going to pour that sugar into the wine. Alright, with that sugar in the wine, you can see the yeast is getting all crazy and active, right? It's like, yay, sugar. Woo! Same way I get, you know. Yay, sugar. Pecan pie for breakfast. That's what the yeast is going like, you know. Ooh, look, sugar smoothies for breakfast. Isn't that guy a swell guy? That prince feeding us sugar. It's like Krispy Kreme for breakfast. So I'm going to stir that around. Get that thoroughly dissolved in there. One of the things that you'll see now is the specific gravity should be higher than it was before. And lo and behold it is higher. So we're just going to let that rip. It's going to ferment out completely dry. Snap my lid back on. Alright, so I'm going to snap my lid back on and uh, put that aside. It's going to ferment out the rest of that sugar. We're going to revisit this in about a week or so and make sure that we're completely fermented out. Every day in between, I'm going to be squeezing that bag, stirring it up, um, what have you. And the next step after this will be racking it to a carboy. Alright, so what, are, what is a carboy? I know a lot of you people know already. Carboy is another name for... Ta-da! Glass jug. Big glass jug. Sometimes people call these things demijohns and whatever. Alright, so in about a week or so we're going to be transferring the, the wine off of the bucket here, primary fermenter, into the carboy. Okay, and then we'll be doing the next steps. So, thanks for watching this other exciting episode of How to Make Wine with me, your host. And, um, you know, have any questions? Put them down at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe if you are looking at this for the first time. And uh, if you like this video, please like it. Okay. Um, wishing you all an awesome winemaking experience. And um, it's great. You know, I have a lot of other videos here on winemaking too. I'm going to be, uh, I have a couple of things on deck I want to talk to you about. One of them is I'm going to be making a margarita style wine. I'm going to get some some um, wine juice. I'm sorry, wine juice. What am I saying? Lime juice. All right. Check that out. Okay. Key West Key Lime Juice.
but I also have some of the real lime so I'm going to be putting those things together and making a lime margarita kind of a wine soon I got a peach wine going and I have the wine expert um, Nebbiolo and that's going now and um, it's going to be a couple of dragon bloods on the future and another peach wine on the future so these are some things that I have coming up on deck um, to do with this wine. Oh yeah, and there's also the uh, Fontana Trio kit that um, I um, had a technical question so I did not actually start that one yet. I'm going to be starting it soon and um, so that's on deck too. So the Fontana is coming. Um, this is, is progressing and there's a lot of other things that are on the horizon so stay tuned and um, you know We'll uh, continue to crank out some great wines together. All right, take care. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And um, definitely check out my blogs, www.cookingitalianrecipes.com, with the dashes in the middle, or um, my other one on winemaking, how to make homemade wine.biz. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and have an awesome day.